Well, I got the memory card fixed and installed. And I already tried it out. It, it works. It actually comes on now. The disk drive lights up. And it says, insert diskette. Just like it's supposed to. However, when I insert a diskette, it doesn't do anything. So now I have a new problem. <laughs> Let's do this. We get this. This scripts it to disk boots on the Model 12 just fine. And I believe this is a TRS DOS operating system. Focus. There we go. Yeah, TRS-80 Model 2. That's what it's supposed to be for, but it also works on the Model 12. Now when I stick it in here, the disk drive doesn't... There we go. Disk drive doesn't really act like I've done anything. The heads don't move. I'm going to hit reset. And nothing. I'm not getting any response out of it. It might be because I don't have the keyboard plugged in. I'm still working on the keyboard. Uh, but I have this other disk drive. If I can't get that one to do anything, we'll we'll plug this other disk drive in and see what it get. Uh, see what it can do. Anyway, here we are making progress. Got the memory board there. And it's trying to work. Yeah, the disk drive's not gonna. Come on, it's not even gonna give you the disk back. Oh, oh my label. Oh, I have to re glue that. I really want to get this thing working so I can at least make a copy of that disc. I really, that's the original disc, you know, and that's going to, I have two original boot discs for the Model 12, and both of them, the magnetic media has actually rubbed off, and uh, I want to hurry up and get these this disc copied before... Uh, onto a new 8 inch disc before uh, that happens to that disc anyway yay there you go thanks for watching yeah here's that model 12 TRS DOS disc and it's it looks like it's brand new immaculate condition however if you look there you can actually see through the disc and that's the magnetic media has actually rubbed off and what's underneath is just a plastic disc that's all it is clear plastic disc and that's just where the heads go to read the track information and it just not that the heads were dirty it just rubbed it right off so, man, that's a beautiful disc, too. It's nice and clean and like it never been used, and it just is no good anymore. <laughs> I'll try to avoid that with the Scripsit 2 disc.